Good afternoon, family and friends. This is One Quad Love. My sister sprang a very important surprise on me, and I am so excited. We're going to pick it up today, and so I want to take you guys along with us on this journey. But when you see it, you're going to rejoice with me too. So sit back, enjoy the ride. We're going to make a quick stop to gas up the tank, and then zoom, we on our way. See you soon. day. Hey, hey, hey! It's been long awaited. We got about a 45 minute ride, so we got to get on the road. See you at the next stop. <laughs> yeah. Traffic is terrible out here. We are running late. Well, and you probably won't be able to do it till I pull them up. Now, do you want, because these are kind of angled down. Do you want the shoes coming off? Hang on. How do you feel, Deborah? <laughs> You're supposed to be giggling at this point. <laughs> there you go. She probably feels like she's at the dentist right now, so. Okay, now you can use this M3, the repositioning mode, to bring you back up. So you're going to pull it towards you. Can you reach that? It's a little tricky. And we'll work on that. We'll get those back further after. It, perfect. It's going to do the back. Okay. Then it's going to do the legs. And see how that keeps your hips back? It does. Now, let's, and now look, let's keep a look at the seat deck now. Okay. Keep we going. have to change the rails to go shorter, but it's easy to find shorter. So I keep going? Yep. We're standing. Oh. It's okay to be a little bit longer than that. We, we, we try to go full. Keep pulling it the whole way if you can. Okay. And we're going to have you pause there for our back. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. Let me just bring those legs in and then we'll get them. The foot, the shoe's coming off. So okay. We'll yeah. get shoes and we'll get foot plates. Okay. So legs are... So we know we got to come up here. Are you putting this... Oh, you're putting Not back in. I mean, the bolt back in. How does your back feel? Fine. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a year. Okay. That the new material on the back is a little bit more comfortable. A little bit more? A lot more. <laughs> I have, you can sink into it more. It's got uh, two densities of foam in there instead of just the one. It's more breathable too when it's, it's hot out. Yep. Yeah. And your arms and are the same level? Yes. You're not leaning to the right right now. You remember how she was leaning to the right? 
I am. I'm not understanding exactly well, why. Well, she hasn't a contour wedges. It, it's something oh. with that chair. We have, yeah, we did put, we put the, the light wedges in there. So not much, just a little bit of, give it a little bit of room. Well, that other back of that chair was pushing me. It was like it pushing me to the side. Oh, I love it. You like it, Deborah? Let me just enjoy the back one. Though. Okay. <laughs> I'm curious about the cushion, though. Uh, Me too. How does the cushion feel now? It's a tad better, but the thing is that the cushion can't work without, like, the cushion and the back work together. So if your back's not comfortable, if your seat's not, if you're leaning from your back. Yeah, I noticed whenever the, uh. How far are you trying to go? When she takes the pillow out, just try to get knee level. It hurts more in the cushion. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit. Can I hold this right here? Yeah, I, I did have to drop the cast pad a little to not hit the bracket on this one. I'm loving how straight your torso looks. So that's the type of key. It's really key in getting, getting the pockets to fit. Yeah. We had to get rid of the bolt on the side. I too, thought right? that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was trying to keep it in, but I don't think we're going to get it. I'm not quite at the point that I can. Yeah. I think the other one we might have been able to do the bolt. We might as well keep the range if we have it. Yeah, we definitely have a little bit better range in the left and the right. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get this bolt out. Yeah, but... going down a little more than it was when I was As you can get your foot straighter or your, your ankle mm -hmm. more flexed up, we're going to have to put the bolt in there. Okay. How will she know when she needs that one adjusted? When the foot plate, when the foot starts being able to come up more. So right now the foot plate you know, is down as much as it's going to go. Okay. If she gets more range, then this goes in the back of the foot plate. When you can, when, when, you're, when, you when can, she can get her foot straight. You can put, you know, when you can push your foot up and you can get a little bit more range, call us. We'll put, you know, I mean, you okay. Can, you can put the ball right. It's super easy. Or you can call us. We can do it. Too. Okay. We'll show you on another one how where it goes, and then you can also have your therapist look at your ankle. That's probably the most important thing. The therapist says it's okay. Okay. Or you don't have a therapist, do you? Yeah. You do. Well, okay. you have a therapist. Up, Is it a therapist when you, you have more range of motion in your ankle okay. to point your toes up? Right now, you're, it's hard to get your toes pointed up. You point down. We can't get that to come more up. So we can't make the foot plate point more up. So when you're ready for the foot plate to come more up, that's when you put that bolt in. Makes sense. That that answers my question. Okay, look better. Right here, guys. Look right here. This is the bolt we took out. It just screws right in here. Okay. So I see it. it. Now it's level, but if you take the bolt out, it drops down a little bit. I got it. So all you have to do is screw it in. Okay. And then when you, when it's tight, when, it'll hold it. It'll just lock that in. Sounds good. Whatever angle your your ankle can accommodate. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. So now it's, it looks so much better. We we it, it won't right now. You can see if it looks different after you try standing. 
but right now I can't get it to match that angle but we'll keep looking at it okay because that, that's what we tried first I had the bolt in I had it out okay so now we're gonna come down from tilt and I'm gonna save kind of a driving position for you We might have to come up on this. It might be overinflated cushion too, now don't forget. We... I think that's why we use the red band a lot, is because like when we're riding in the car, her legs guards. jump off of this. Does this come with thigh guards too? We don't have thigh guards on thigh guides on the demo. It is something we talked about possibly mm -hmm. ordering. We could, yeah. We wanted to see. We've got the knee blocks, which mm -hmm. is I think we might have to come up here. You know what, Josh, do me a favor. Emily? Or we can take a little out of that cushion. Open up an adjustment order uh, for Josh. We're uh, three and a half by eight hip guides. I already part. did the quote too, so. You do? Mm -hmm. I sent it. What else is on there? Just that? Just that. Just the comfort body okay. length and just jerk and comfort. I don't have it, so maybe resend I'll resend it to you. Open up an adjustment order though for me. Yep. For me. Okay. Because then you'll remind me to resend it. Okay. Can we do, so this hip's sitting a little low. See how that. Can you lean, lean, lean this way? You might need help. We might need you to help okay. you do it. And then, yeah. But well, we'll see. We'll, we'll go slow and we'll see how your your range is. We'll give you a second to settle. Yeah, see, that looks more comfortable to her foot. Yeah, it well, is. Maybe you'll settle like the, 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 She settles after a while. That one looks more comfortable. It looks it, but it's all deceiving because your heel okay. is not why don't we take your shoe off? Do you mind? Can we take your shoe off? I'm very sensitive. Oh, sorry. I'm very, I have she very hates sensitive okay. issues. Okay. So, I can't sorry. On the uh, so, the thing is, it's, just, it's deceiving. When we do that, all we're doing is... See, but it looks your heel is lifting up. She yeah. wants to lift your heel down some, so it won't break. That was the purpose of tilting it. Just try it, though. Yeah. It's standing, yeah. you can well, say, ow, ow, yeah, if yeah, you feel yeah, the yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah. You have sensation in your legs? Everywhere. Everybody touching me. I'm feeling it. Okay. That's <laughs> sensation is a good thing. Well, no, not in my case because it hurts. <laughs> well, better than not having any sensation. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's just toxic. When you're doing what you're doing, I feel that. You feel it. Okay. I'm feeling it. All right. Let's get your arm rest made set up. This one looks good. Maybe we level them off a little. Does this feel like a position you would drive in or still too tilted? Is that one too high? Too tilted. I'll go down is this one a little too high or mm -hmm. fine? Is that too high yeah, for your arms? So you're not tilted, so that's good, but you're more reclined. You want to sit more up? Too yeah. much? Mm -hmm. okay. So this is how you want to drive around. That's how I want to drive around. Is this how you want to drive around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so how I want to drive around. Do you have sensory issues with you? Is it okay if your elbow touches the pad? No, no, it's not. It's not. You don't it's want fine, to it's fine, it's fine. It's just that like I'm gonna be doing this because see this is here and this is my elbow's not touching on this Let's side. Let's bring it up, maybe bring but Yeah, we'll get the elbow off. But this side is. Yeah, this side is. I think if we just uh, angle that down and then we can come up. We'll loosen the back and then there's just a little play in that. But so we just need it. Uh, they're even. Oh, or we just gotta loosen that. No? Yeah, that's they're it. even. That, it's just a little uh, they're even. Except that one, this one looks a tad higher. I think it's just because of my arm reach. Oh. Your ankle not to break. Okay. You picture how straight you look in the chair. Okay, Jessica, I just find that. No, you not. Are you now? You used to be. I used to be a very. <laughs> but I mean, I'm just. I'm gonna look at where it. Right now. Yeah, of course. We should do a transfer back in your old chair. You want to go down? down we can do the seat night. rails and put the hip guides on. And then we can transfer back in and then go over standing. I think that'd be the... We, we had tried 19 and we were torn between 19 and 20. So we left the demo at 20. But I think... But if you want to go with the... We I, have I don't know, actually. Now it's actually looking good. You had, you her knees look perfect, huh? Yeah, maybe we mm -hmm. should... You want to see how your knees look? Mm -hmm. She's at 20 here. This is 20. Hopefully you put the hip guides in. Yeah. Perfect. So... Thank you, though, for the work we can't feel. Yeah, so but I, I feel to the highest level you can talk about. And if it's going to do that, you can. You'll have injuries from standing, so you want to be aware of them. Yeah, yeah. But I like that feel.
feel better than it the way it this. Because then it's then you slide. I, yeah, okay. I like I like I like being as straight as I can be. Okay. How does this how does I can tolerate. Feel on your thighs. Is the tray easy to take off? It's something that you might need help with. Uh, me? Somebody else might need help because it's hard to lift it straight up. Oh, the if tray you goes straight it, up. You can go for it. It's are extended. So one trick on the knee block. Like I'll squeeze them together. So no, it's the power on the legs when you're trying to get this in and out. There you go. I'm pretty confident that I am not because it's the wrong way to go. Sometimes if you pull the power leg in, it's easier than it won't hit that part of the cushion. I think that's what it is hitting. So you just have to bring those legs in if you get it in your hand. You like you're rolling around in a 60 thousand. Uh why don't you put the trays back? Over to let's just do tilt for right now. That's oh that's a maze. Are you are you with us? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to pull up and see programming? And we'll do a couple things. All right. We can only do it with the computer. Yep. Let me go by. Reminder how to do things. All right, Deborah. If you can tilt back, we'll make sure the headrest is in a position that's comfortable for you. We didn't do that. Yet. Oh, that's the one way. The the tilt one is the way you're used to it. It's okay. Just the that's memory the one. That's different. Sometimes it's like you're trying to go forward. Only for that memory one. Okay. All right. Bring your head back. How's that? So S1 is going to be sit to stand. Can you write sit to, can you use stasis or not? Yeah. For what? S1, uh, not, access. It's uh, 11, number 11. Way over here, okay. What about 7, 8, 9, 10? 7 is going to be IRM. So usually what is that? So you've got sit to stand for 11. So sit to stand. 12? Let's go ahead and add lay to stand because we might turn that on. We got seven here, M3. Let's call. So M3 is the one that we just did the memory one that did the tilt, then the legs, and the recline. Okay. If we call that repositioning, would that make sense to you? So you use that to reposition and get yourself all the way back? Yes. Yeah. So I, you can put that one. Access seven. And then we'll say we saved it all the way back and then it all the way up so then get you right back to your driving position. Okay. than me we'll do that okay does that say repositioning under the m3 can you see yes, it, it does. Yeah, okay. totally yes, it does. That so the other trick see it? m3 it moves three things that's the other way i try to remember okay. it right it moves tilt legs and your recline okay so it helps you reposition okay okay then we've got do you see the words elevate, elevate. Yeah, that, that one can't give a name. <laughs> Sit to stand. Yeah. 
we didn't we're gonna turn lay to stand on okay. because yeah. I do think you're gonna want that. So if you go to ICS, yeah. see icon display order two. No, you spelled reposition perfect. Okay. Huh? What do I do? You're gonna uh, go to icon display order? Yep, and then two. And turn access twelve on whatever number eleven is. want to work with you on both types of stands. The okay. sit to stand and the lay to stand. Okay. And this chair could have both. Oh, wow. Okay. Over time, you may find that you just use one of them. Yes. And over time, your the stand can be reprogrammed as well mm -hmm. because as your needs change, remember last time we didn't go all the way up? Yes. We probably won't today either. But as you need those reprogrammed, you just call access. I would like to see how far I can I think because we're not, your therapist isn't here, you've tried it, you've tried standing with your therapist, everybody's on board with you doing standing, I still think that pushing those limits shouldn't be with us, it needs to be with your, with the therapist present. So that could even be a follow-up visit at one of your therapy sessions, okay? Sounds good. Okay, it's real important that you don't overdo things and cause any injury. Okay. So write that over. Oh, there's my song by Adele. Yes, that can be. Uh, Indoor is generally your slower speed settings. Right. It's similar. To, you're used to a yeah, barbell. So yeah, this yeah. is. Uh, what do we got here? Let's just do this. I'm gonna unplug the programmer so we have one last thing going on. Don't one and two. Do you want two to still be called normal or you want to be called something else? No, that's fine. You're used to that, used to right? That. Okay. Yeah, I'm used to it. And you know you've got five speeds on each, so the rabbit and the turtle. Turn that up, see the yellow bars? Yes, yes. So you got five speeds on your mm -hmm. profile two, mm -hmm. normal, and five speeds on profile one. Mm -hmm. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> up here is, if you hold this one, you get into your settings menu. Okay, that's where we can do. Let's set your clock. My okay. Time. Okay. All right. I can't read upside down though, yeah, and even small print. So here, why don't you go ahead and do this so you learn how to do it? Because you're gonna have to change the um, clock over time.
over here squishing my belly up. Hello, family and friends. This is One Quad Love. I want to thank you and welcome you to my channel. Thanks so much for watching my video part one. I greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And if you want to leave a comment, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And press that notification bell so that you'll know when I upload new videos. Hope you all have a blessed day. And remember, let's keep on enduring with faith, patience, and love.